world. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Wolverine. I'm sorry about the reflective light going on. I'm getting an awful camera angle right now. I'm really sorry. But basically, this is Wolverine from the Marvel Legends Collection. It's just arrived this morning. It is the regular version. I've got the Amazon exclusive one right here. The white vest top Logan. And I've got his accessories to the side of me here so we can try them out with the new version. Um, this looks a very cool action figure. I'm really happy to have it in my collection. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine and the X-Men series. I've been one of the people that probably defended it over the years as it's always been up there for me. I always enjoy it. It's cheesy. It's awful. It's bad. It's badly written, badly scripted, but it's X-Men. And you guys know I have a very deep connection with the X-Men. Like I said before, growing up in a small town when you, when you feel different, the, the X-Men is the same sort of thing. And uh, it makes me feel kind of at home when I read those books. Because obviously growing up I felt different to other people as well. So I have that deep connection with this series. So I'm really looking forward to opening this and playing around with this new Hugh Jackman. Uh, we've got the old head here from the other figure. And the bone claws. As this new figure doesn't come with any bone claws. So hopefully... Ah, bright light. Thanks, thanks God for sending out the sun! But let's try and open this, guys. I'm going to have to change that. I'm going to have to shut them blinds. Ah! Right, guys, let's open up this bad boy and take a look inside. Right, okay, guys. Hopefully you can see the, the desk and what's going on here. Let me back up a little bit. Oops. Destroying thing. There we go. <laughs> it's all going Pete Tong today. So guys, like I said, we've got the old one here. I'm going to pop him to one side while we take a look at the new figure. I'm really excited to have this in the collection, guys. Like I said, let's get him open. Yeah. I'm using a different diorama base this morning. These are, these are my uh, gothic-looking steps. I usually use these for Halloween. It's a very nice little thing. And there's an archway that I can attach to the top here. Uh, I'm just using it because it's a little bit higher up. Normally, I would use my flat base, but... I've got somebody else in the room with me this morning, should we say. So, things are a little bit cockeyed and different. I'm sorry. Yeah, you will be. Thanks, Boris. <laughs> if you can work from home, please work from home. If you can't work from home, don't work from home. If you can work from home, work from home. But please spend money. <laughs> right, so we have got another Hugh Jackman basic head. Which has got a different haircut this time. This one's more in keeping with the X-Men Origins Wolverine. Um, he's not got the, the... The first one has like a little quiff at the front with a little flick down hair. Whereas this one's got more of the mullet going on. Both of them have got the big lamb chop beard. And the middle bit hasn't been painted on both figures. But that's normal. Hugh Jackman's beard only comes to the middle, doesn't it? And he leaves the middle bit. So yeah, they're both slightly different heads. So they're not the same sculpt. It's the same facial scan by the looks of it. Except, you know what? I actually prefer... I do actually prefer the Origins one. And I'll show you that better on the desktop. And we do also come with two fisticuff hands, because if there's one thing we don't have enough of is fisticuff hands. So you can have the either claws out, or without claws. And then, of course, we've got another pair of clawed hands on the other Wolverine, which are, you know, closed fist. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got the bone claws as well, which are closed fist. Can we not get a Wolverine with open palm hands with the claws out so we can kind of... So he's not always like this. Can we not have him where he's got the hands so he can still do things with the hands while he's got the claws? Because we always seem to get the same... We always seem to get the same hands every time on Wolverine. Hopefully we will be getting all the pre-orders sorted out today, guys. For um, all the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusives, even though there's been no San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> we should be trying to get our hands today on the Logan 2-pack with Charles Xavier. We should also be trying to get our hands on the new Power Rangers set and the new um, X-Men set. And I'm sure there's something else. Power Rangers, X-Men. Oh, Star Wars! <laughs> so yes, we'll be getting all of those today. I'm very excited. Very nice looking figure. Let me get a little bit closer to the cam. Because there's not a lot going on on the desk cam today. So you know, I don't really need to be that far away. I'd rather be closer to the action. So here he is, guys. 
and he looks very nice. I'm actually really liking the uh, face sculpt on this one. Um, he's got like a screaming expression, although does it look like Hugh Jackman this time round? No, it doesn't in my personal opinion. I do think that, I'm not a fan of that. But I like the expression because it's going to be good for photography, especially if you have him jumping. See, I wouldn't use that head with this. I would use that head on, I'd swap these heads over. Because I'd want, do you remember the scene in X-Men 2 where he jumps off the top of the... Where he jumps off the top of that thing when he's, he's defending the, man, the mansion. And he's like diving down with his claws out. That's so much better. I prefer that head sculpt on that body. Or like in the first X-Men movie where he's in the bar. And he's got both those guys. He's sort of stood like that and he's got it. He's got both guys with the claws. And that bartender comes up behind him and goes, Get out of my bar, freak. And then obviously I want that head on this body. Yeah, that's much better. I like that, I like that head on this body. And that's the Amazon exclusive one. Just, I don't know. I think I like the likeness of Hugh Jackman more on that one. If we go ahead and pop this one on, this is the other head that comes with him. Ugh. The more, what do we call it, civilian head, we call it? Just regular Wolvie. Again, none of them have... I know it's a, I know it technically... I know it's adult collectible. I know it says 14 plus on the box. But they still won't give us any cigars. I wish there was a head sculpt like that one where he's got the cigar in his mouth. Because Hugh Jackman did have, you know, he did smoke cigars 90% of the way through those movies. Or at least the first few anyway. So it would be very good to uh, have that represented. But then again, they didn't do it for Hellboy either with, with Ron Pellman, so... Just a shame. I know, it's it's, cause ten, I, know, I know there's always that thing of it's adult collectible, but kids have still got access to them, so they can't have smoking represented. Both these figures, though, are very nice, and I'm so glad I own both of them now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this figure. So I'm liking the fact that he's got his jacket on as well on this one. Um, so the head can look up as well as down, left and right. His arms do lift up that top hinge. They do also rotate as well as at the bicep. There's a double hinged bicep on these. And the hands are on ball joints. Um, there's an abdomen crunch there. So we can crunch him forwards and backwards. I wish the Wolverine came with alternate arms. Because obviously I like that jacket, that red shirt underneath. It would have been nice if it would have been included um, the long sleeve red shirt. So we could change him out of the jacket. Plus, I like this jacket, and I would probably go as far as to say I would like to swap it onto this body. That jacket with those arms on the white vest top and jeans would look very nice. Yeah. Especially if we put him on the bike as well. That would look awesome. Uh, but yeah, we've got the abdomen crunch, got the waist swivel, his legs do lift out all the way, as well as forwards, backwards, top, thigh cut there. Double hinged knee on there as well. And the feet are on rocker and pivot. And they do have holes in the feet should you wish to use a display base with him. Um, have I got a display? I don't, I'm not, not that I need to because he's very sturdy. But I don't actually have a display base to stand to show you. But yeah, he's actually quite sturdy on his own. He doesn't need any help. It's a very good action figure. One of the best things about all these is we can just pop the hand straight off. Because the claws are nicer on this one than on the other one. But you guys know I'm a fan of the old school bone claws. From Origins. Plus I love them in the comic when he first used them. We need some of his new... Because he's got, he's got like flame... Or the comics that I was reading recently. Wolverine's got like a flame effect now. On his claws. So it'd be cool to get more like that as well in the future. But yeah, and it's cool to use the bone claws with him as well for that X Men Origins appeal. With the fact that they've given us this version of X Men and the fact that Ryan Reynolds still plays Deadpool, do you think they would ever give us a X Men Origins Deadpool figure? As awful as it was, do you think we'll ever see one? I'd like to hope out hope in the future. And as well with the Deadpool range, I've got that to review and I will be doing that real soon for you. I would also like to see a Colossus. From that series as well. I think that'd be very cool. 
Right guys, without further ado, I'm going to go down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this Wolverine. So let's go down to the desk cam! So here he is, out of the packaging guys, and like I said, I'm loving that new head sculpt. It's just super nice. Look at that. Yeah. Liking that a lot. Um, so if we go ahead and I can bring these other two heads in, we've had for these figures as well. They are all swapping interchangeable and things like that. So you've got the two main heads, which are very similar, but I like the one that's on this figure more than the one on the left, personally. But then again, I like I like this head sculpt. This is one of my favourite with the grid teeth. <laughs> Growling Wolverine. Not so much of a fan of the screaming face. We've gone ahead and put that on the other huge Jackman body. Why is my camera not focusing? There we go. Yeah, I've gone ahead and shoved that on that body. Just for a little bit of difference. By the way, I've done a full review on this Wolverine. If you want to, if you want to check it out after the video, please do. I'll leave a link in the description. But out of the two, I was most excited for the Amazon exclusive, but now I've got them in hand. I like the jacketed Wolverine more than the white vest top Wolverine. I hope we do get a movie Sabretooth as well um, very soon. Not from Origins, but from the original X-Men movie. And I, you know, I'd love to see a Ray Park Toad as well. That'd be pretty cool to go along with our Mystique. Although Mystique is based on, I believe, the new version of Mystique uh, by Jennifer Lawrence, I believe. <laughs> but either way, loving these figures. We finally got some more bone claws as well. That's only the, it's only the second figure with bone claws now. I don't know why they're bothered giving us more fisty cuff hands. We've got thousands of them. So guys, paint taps and things on this figure. They're very nice indeed. I'm loving the painting on here. The face sculpt is very nice. I haven't found much warping issues or anything with this. They've done a very good job. Um, the stonewashed denim as well look very nice. The boots look clean. Um, I just there's nothing to really grumble about this figure. It's been very well done, and I've been looking forward to this one. Um, and I'm I'm not disappointed with it. It's definitely worth grabbing, guys. I got mine from Comics and Cocktails, one of my favorite retailers, along with In Demand Toys and Kapow Toys, who I believe most have them in stock right now. So please do go check them out. I will review the Deadpool figures very soon as well. If you're interested in seeing them, please let us know in the comments, along with the other Marvel Legends. And we've also got a boatload of Star Wars to get through as well. So if you're excited to see more reviews, give me a comment down below. I do respond to each and every single comment. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. So just thank you very much for watching. But let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, I want to say thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. Leave us a comment down below. I will respond to it. And just thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. I enjoyed making it for you. We've got plenty more reviews coming up, as you can tell. We've got loads going on on the channel right now. And we're coming up to spooky season, so I've got a bunch of Halloween reviews coming up for review as well. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!